Uh, Doug Zwamer, and I've been a member for about six years now. All right. What's your favorite hole out here? Gosh. Um, I think 14. Why is that? I just kind of like the way it plays out. Yeah. I'm not very good at it, but I enjoy playing it. Let's see. 1962. That's Terry O'Connell. Terry O'Connell, right. Okay. 1962 when I got out of college. All right. What's your favorite hole on the course? <laughs> None of them. <laughs> Let's Today. see. Uh, I, I really think uh, 16 with the two big trees still out there, that's a good hole. You got to fade it around, get a good second shot. You got five traps around the greens, and the green is uh, angled somewhat. Okay. So I like 16. Robert Staley. And how long have you been a member here? My father was started a member in 64. I took over his membership, I think, in 85. Okay. So I'm a founding member once removed. Once removed, that's good enough. Yes. What's your favorite hole out here? Oh, absolutely, number 17. 17, why is now, that? Because one of my daughters, as a birthday gift, paid for me to play with Bill, the pro, 18 holes. No, nine holes. We played the back nine, and I beat him on 17. No, you beat the pro, huh? He had a par, and I had a birdie. Excellent. So he said, now you can say you beat the pro, and I said, I don't think Bill it will quite count. <laughs> I am Frank Lundell, and I've been a member, I joined in the spring of 69, way back when, as a single guy working as a new teacher at Reese Puffer Schools. So I've been here a long, long time. And is our current uh, president of the board? Uh, yes, I am. And for how long? Uh, I have been president now for three years. I just got reelected at our last meeting in August. So I guess I'm in for another year at least, uh -huh. yeah, congratulations. which I look forward to. It's a great group to work with. We have 11 directors, and man, it's a lot of fun. Most of it's a lot of fun. There's a couple of issues, you know, once in a while. Not major, <laughs> nothing that we can't overcome. Yeah. What's your favorite hole on the course? 17, because both you and I had a hole in one on that's 17. Right. Yeah. That's, you know, that is always my favorite hole. I love to get to number 17. The idea of knocking it on the green on a par four and, you know, yeah. and maybe getting an eagle or whatever is really yeah. fun. So it was a or, bonus. It was a or bonus. Or an albatross. Or an albatross, which that's is right. what it was. Yeah, yeah that's right. right. It was an albatross. So, you know, I'd say number 17. And uh, you're going to ask me what my, my worst hole is out here? Sure, we'll ask you it that. It would be number 12. Yeah. Number 12, that little short little par four with all the hazards. You got out of bounds, you got, you know, willows on the right, and it, it's just target golf for me. I had the hardest time with that hole. Any great memories on the course, any particular event? Uh, I, I liked when we've done the glow golf. The glow golf has been a lot of fun. Okay. I don't know about an event, but I think of the people, you know, back through the years. Uh, the people that live in the community or the people that come here in the summer uh, along White Lake. I mean, I just, I just think back of, of uh, you know, the George Hartmans and the Winthrop Coolidges and, and all the people that played this golf course over all these years is, yeah. is pretty, pretty, pretty neat. Okay. Yeah. But there was an old timers group when we were young and they put up the fence, they put up the addition to the clubhouse, they put up restrooms. Uh, they just did a lot. Uh, they built uh, some of the, in the old days, they built some of the lean-tos and that type of thing. And there was, so oh, John O'Connell, Fred Loy, Rex Funnel, uh, you know, b a bunch of guys that just lived around the course and they'd come out and really help out. So, uh, probably about 20 of them. Yeah. I can remember them having an old walk behind sh uh, big scoop and they'd have on hip boots and they'd go down into the creek and the tractor would pull it out and they'd dump it and they'd go back and oh, really? yeah okay they dug out the number one out. yeah clean it out that way so that was yeah they were a big help there was good group and so this will be our new yet to be open open in the spring of 2015 practice facility double t box uh, practice green over here, parking. We're going to have a pavilion for events and parties and cookouts and so on. So it's a nice course, a beautiful course. Yeah. And the people are nice. And I like to play casually. But I would say that one thing I really like about the course, and I
and as a program that they have intentionally done, but that's the tree program, which I have supported every year since I've been a member. And so now we lose trees, but we don't lose the tree line. Terrific. Excellent. Good Terrific. point. Yeah, I, I used to play a lot of golf with my dad on the backside, and I guess uh, that would have to be when we when I got home from work, he lived over off of 18, and coming home, and he had a gate through the fence, and we'd slide our clubs under the rail and come out and play nine, and had a lot of good times there. Great, yeah. So a lot of the people said they one of their favorite memories was uh, seeing Dad on the front porch on 18, and him always waving and stuff, and I, I always look back on those two things. Yeah, excellent. Old man gloom, keep them or lose them? Most of the time I'd lose them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I keep them too much. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's, a, it's been a nice relationship. Uh, we grew up crossing the golf course and I worked uh, at golf courses and uh, worked here for a number of years as a nighttime sprinkler and a lot of good memories. And uh, my wife is here, so I won't tell her about all the parking places. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it says the burial place of old man. You like that slogan? I like that. Okay. So keep it. I like. I, yeah. I, I, yeah. I wouldn't change it to. Oh, you, you, something. No, I like that name. Okay. No, no preference. <laughs> oh, I think. I think that. If there was ever a marketing twist on a couple of negative words, it works pretty well here at White Lake Golf Club. Yeah. You know, you got old, you got gloom, and you got burial, you know, all in one <laughs> phrase. But if you put it in the right context, I'll tell you what, it, it, it works. It works. Okay. Yeah, I like it. Thanks a lot, Frank. All right, Rob. Thank you. Robert McDowell, who was a resident over in Sylvan Beach. I got these from Judy Rogers. And he won the club championship, which is this trophy in 1927. He was runner-up in the open championship in 1927. So we had an open championship back then when you didn't have to be a member and you could play, obviously. Oh. And he came in and somebody beat him out for the championship there. So these Judy Rogers wants to give to the club and we can have them for the 1916, 2016 history, uh, Excellent. 100th year anniversary, and we can put them in the clubhouse someplace. All right, we'll take them. Okay, very Thank you good. very much. And they're heavy. And they're heavy. Yeah. yeah not like they are today. <laughs> <laughs> as long as we have you, do you have, uh, uh, well, first off, tell us your name for the film and how long you've been a member. Uh, Jim McCall, I've been a member since sometime in the 1960s. I don't know when exactly, but... Uh, George Hartman got me interested in this. He was my uh, stepfather-in-law, and uh, he was very instrumental in the golf course here, and he got me interested in it, and then he got me on the board, and I've been on the board for, I don't know, 50 years or more. So it's been a long Great. time. Do you have maybe a favorite 50, hole out Maybe here? not 50 years. My favorite hole is just being able to tee off on number one. Just to tee <laughs> off and play the course is what's favorite for me. Excellent. I just love it. How's just your name? How long have you been a member here? Uh, Mike Buckner, been a member probably coming on 10 years now. Yeah. Uh, this is our current club champion, by the way. Back to back club champ. Yeah. So, yeah. Lots of fun. So. Uh, what's your favorite hole out here? Uh, I'd say number one. Why is that? Because it's the beginning of a great day. <laughs> good point. Can't, All right. You know, we're out here having fun with friends and yeah, number one, that means we got 18 good holes out of us. So. Yeah, typical uh, pot from the four o'clock group. Yeah, right. <laughs> cool again. That's the one. Pot out there. Good. Yeah, this is the uh, this is a pickup group. They play Tuesdays, Thursdays, weekends, and uh, small bets, as you can see. The name of our pocket change. The name of our group is the Cooler Gang. Drink we, beer out of the trunk. We bring coolers, and we think we're cooler. <laughs> So in the future, when you're looking at this film, we didn't have a liquor license yet. So we drink, <laughs> yeah. drink beer in the parking lot. Right. <laughs> or on the porch. On the porch. Which yeah. is where we should be right now. But. <laughs> so you guys ready? Who's got the cards? I got them. Let's do it.
Absolutely. What do you like best about being a member of Whitey Lake? Uh, just the people around here. It's uh, everybody from new members to older members. To, it's just it's fun. Just a good group of people out here. So okay. enjoy it. Old Man Gloom, burial place though. Should we keep it or lose it? I would say lose it. Lose it? Yeah, but I don't know the history totally of it, so that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mike. Okay. And uh, Old Man Gloom, keep it or lose it? Um, I don't like the connotation of Old Man Gloom myself, but I know a lot of people do, so I would uh, lose it. Lose it. Right. Thanks a lot, Jim. Okay, thank you. This is Bill Borgman, the uh, PGA pro for our club. How long have you been in pro here? 18 years. 18 years. Do you have a favorite hole on the course? I would say number two is my favorite. Why is that? Because it's a challenging hole. Yeah. Yeah, fairly long, and the green is really uh, fun to putt on. <laughs> <laughs> fun to look, good way to put it. Hopefully you putt yeah, on as well. Yeah. Savannah Silk. Savannah, how many years have you been playing golf? I started actually playing golf when I was 10 years old, and I'm 23 now, so 13 years. So. Did you start playing at White Lake Golf Club? No, actually when I was 10, my babysitter took us to a group lesson at Moss Ridge. So we started, the, she got a bunch of us in together, so it was a lot of fun. So what is your favorite hole at White Lake Golf Club and why? Well, most days I don't really like number two, but I like number two because it's actually where I got my first eagle ever, so I thought that was really cool. What's the best score you've had on this course? 79. 79. But I shot a 77 at Lincoln the other day, so I was pretty happy with that. <laughs> and what's the best part about working here as an employee? You know, I really like working with the Ladies Association because they're really appreciative of what I do. So A lot of the members I really like, so... Just working here in general is really fun. How, um, how long, what's your name? How long have you been a member here? Well, actually, we're just guests. You're guests, yeah. okay. Where are you from? Uh, uh, Brighton, Brighton, Michigan. Okay. How, how did you find out about this course? Uh, we kind of travel around here all the time. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. Are you staying at one of the resorts or are you staying with somebody, uh, uh, one of the cottages? We're staying down in Saugatuck. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, welcome to the course. What do you like best about the course? Trees, shade. Trees, shade, yeah. water. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. How many times have you played here? Uh, this is actually our first time. Yeah. First time. Yep. Okay. So I can't ask you what your favorite hole is. Then. Uh, this one is. This so one. The one you just finished. Okay. <laughs> Do you have a, a favorite memory or incident or occasion that happened on the course? That... Yeah, I always really remember uh, a day we had a cookout and we were playing in threesomes and we had to take three drives each. We got down to uh, the 15th hole and uh, playing with Brian McMurray, and he uh, he hit it really close, like three feet from the hole. He said, oh, that looks pretty good. We'll take that one. And then uh, unless I step up and hit, make it in the hole for some reason. And uh, the ball hit, and it basically flew right into the cup for a hole in one. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, so she got inside hit. Absolutely. All right. Um, old man gloom, keep him or lose him? I think it's a good uh, slogan, and uh, so I would keep it. Okay. Thanks so much. You're welcome. If you have an advice to give somebody who doesn't know whether or not they should start playing golf, what would you say to them? You know, it, golf is a sport that does take a lot of work, but if you really want to be proud of yourself at something, and it's really easy to see accomplishments in golf. Like, you can see the progress as you go, so it's really gratifying. Uh, give us your name, how long have you been a member? Uh, Nancy Bly, and I've been a member for four years. And uh, what else? Plus many years. Oh, plus many years before that. My father yeah. and mother, Peg and Ernie Bly, they were here in the 1950s. And uh, I wanted, when I came back, I wanted to join White Lake just because my parents were always here. And Great. I grew up here. So. Yeah. you have a favorite hole out here? Well, of course, number three, because that's the one I had a hole in one on. I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> so that, of course, is my yeah, now your that's new my favorite. favorite. My new favorite. Yeah. Uh, David Ellis, seven or eight years. Okay. Do you have a favorite hole out here on the course? Um, number three. Why is I just that? I just got a hole in one about a month ago on it. 
Do you have a, other than that? Do you have a memory of that happened out on the course? Or? Um, I did get. Uh, I chipped out of the sand on three two for a birdie this year. Well, so that's, that, that's a great hole. So that's a, so that's been a pretty good hole for me. So. What do you like best about being a member out here? It's a fun course to play, and I enjoy the people out here and good guys to play with. Played with a lot of different members. Just had a fun time all the time. Right. Definitely all the people, all the friends that come here, and it's just uh, it's real special to me because, like I said, I grew up here, and uh, I have very, very fond memories, and so it's the people, Great. definitely. Great. Right. Old Man Gloom, should we keep it or lose it? Works for me. Okay. Uh, no. No. <laughs> just because I just, if, if you have to think about it, and I know you want to leave everything here, I understand that, but um, I just would rather have a little more positive spin on it. <laughs> Thanks a lot, okay? <laughs>your name how long you been a member here hi I'm Charlie Dupree and I don't know um, I would say about 25 to 30 years oh my goodness uh, my name is Irene Pearson um, I would say since about 1972 okay. or three we inherited my husband and I uh, the stock at that time stock membership and uh, although Dwayne was a real sailor I took up the game of golf and loved it. Oh, so that's when he started playing? <laughs> that's when I started playing. Okay, yes. excellent. My name is Kay Bitter. And how long have you been a member? Oh gosh, uh, 15 years. Okay. My name is Mike Summers and I've been a member here about 13 years. My name is Tom Berry. I've been a member here for, I'm going to guess, 30 years. Rob Schwartz and I've been a member probably since about 1962. Uh, with a gap in the middle, uh, and then rejoined in uh, 1998. Bill Benedict, I've been a member since 1980. Uh, do you have a favorite hole on the course? Well, I have to say it might be 15 because it's the uh, only hole I've gotten a hole in one on here. Uh, but I really also kind of like four. Yeah. Um, it's a it's a great uh, hole that you got to drive it and. The tree just keeps getting bigger and bigger every year to trying to get to the green, so uh, I like those two holes. Hole number four. Number four? Yes, it's a challenge. It's pretty. Um, can give you fits or it can just make you very happy. Yeah, I'd agree. I would like to say it's hole number 14. Okay. But it really is not. It's my least favorite. My favorite is number four, <laughs> unless the tree gets in my way. The big pine tree? The big yeah, pine tree, yeah, yeah. yes. Always in the way. Oh. I think number four. Yeah. I just like to look at that big uh, pine tree bending over the fairway. Yeah. Of course, I've hit it many a time. Yeah. yeah, I agree. I agree on that. Yeah. My favorite hole out here is number four. I just love the look of the hole. It's a very challenging tee shot to, to get it just where you want to, to be able to get an open shot to the green. I think it's a very strategic hole and a beautiful hole all at the same time. Probably four. I like four. Why is that? Because it's a strategic hole. Yeah. You have to place the tee shot and then hit a perfect second shot. You you can't see people here from the tee box. So when you're at this point on this hole, you ring the bell so people at the tee box know someone is here. You got these two big pine trees that you got to navigate around. You aim for the second one way down there. And there's a landing spot about the size of, uh, you know, a 10 by 10 that is, gives you a free shot to the green. So it's very, very strategic in how you got to play this hole. Because then you got to shoot back to the right to the green, which has got a lot of limbs protecting it. You know, so this is about the only little alley you got into the green without the trees on the right getting in your way or these pine trees on the left. And then even if you get on green, it's got a little bit, you know, a lot of break on the green, and it's uh, not an easy putt usually. Two holes. Great. What yeah. do you like best about being a member at White Lake? Uh, oh, I love the ease of play. I live nearby, just come over, play, rarely crowded, always in good shape. It's terrific. I, I, I like that a lot. It's just so comfortable, and everybody here is so friendly and so sweet. Bill is great. His staff 
is great. The course is great. There's nothing that I don't like about this place. I was talking to our president, Frank Mandela. I was telling him the walkability of it, the fact that we have these great Tuesday and Thursday groups, Saturday, Saturday mornings. I like the fact that I don't have to plan a, a group event. I can just show up and find great golfers to play with. Yeah. Well, there's not too much not to like about it. As we're standing here, I can peer out over White Lake. We have a nice breeze coming off Lake Michigan. And of course, it's a good friends that we have here. Excellent. And uh, the greenskeeper, Dale Augustine, does a fantastic job with his crew to keep this place in tip top shape. Great. I love the condition of the golf course and the way it plays. You can play right along, play fast. Okay. Any favorite memory of events or incidents or. Other than. Uh, the hole in one. It was during the member member, and I was uh, uh, I, I hit the shot, and actually uh, Tom and Kathy McGrail were on 11, and they got all excited, and I thought I just hit it close. And then, as we drove over there in the carts, they came running over because they'd gone in the hole. I didn't even know it. Oh, yeah, it's hard to see. Can't see the hole with the cattails. But it. Uh, no, not really. I mean, I love the member guests. I love the member members. I love the competition. It's it's all kind of fun. That's great. I was on number 11, and Bill Bartholomew and Bill Hartz were on 15. And I, uh, had, I was driving to the green, and afterwards they told me that my ball went in the cup and out. <laughs> And they could see it because they were right there next to the hole. So what, you get a one and a half and a uh, hole? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Very disappointing. I think that's the closest I've come to a hole in one. What do you like best about being a member at Whaley? The people, definitely. Okay. And I also uh, just feel uplifted when I'm out on the course. My memories out here include uh, raiding the golf ponds with my, my friends when I was growing up. We used to sleep out in the dunes come down at night and, and get four or 500 golf balls out of the ponds. And Ernie Augustine used to chase us around with his uh, cart and uh, it was all part of the game. But uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun and we got a lot of golf balls out of it. I don't think I bought a golf ball until I was about 30 years old. Tell us about the uh, pillow you have here. Okay, in uh, 1982, um, Midge G, uh, former member, um, presented me with this pillow. Um, it is of number four, and her husband painted it, Everett G. And he had been the um, local funeral director uh, many years back. And, oh, so that's uh, a bell tree. That's a bell that's, behind that the tree. That is the bell tree. Okay. And, uh, and it was quite an honor to get it, and the year was 1982. Excellent. And uh, she made the pillow, and he did the artwork. All right. Old Man Gloom, keep uh, them or lose them? Keep them. Keep it, keep it, keep it. Okay. I'm a big fan of Old Man Gloom. All right. Thanks yeah, so much, Charlie. Good, thank you. Keep it. Okay. I'm Great. for that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rob. Definitely, definitely keep it. Great, thank you. You're quite welcome, thank you. Not a fan of Old Man Gloom. Not a fan. Not a fan of Old Man Gloom. Don't like the word gloom in something. Uh, I've met gloom many a times in the course, but by the time I walk off the course, gloom's gone. Okay. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Old Man Gloom, I would definitely keep. I think it's a, a great slogan, a unique slogan, and it, you come out here and you leave your troubles behind. Lose them. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> Give us your name and what's your favorite hole? Bill Davis, my favorite hole would be number seven. It's uh, got a hole in one on it. Good reason. Yep. Bob Hilland. How long have you been a member? Uh, since 1985 or so. Okay. And, and what's your favorite hole out here? I think probably number seven. Number seven. Why is that? Uh, my wife got a hole in one there. Okay. And, and it was, uh, it's just a great hole. It's one that I rarely get on, so it's a challenge every year to, to stay out of the sand traps. I've actually gotten to be a very good sand trap hitter because of <laughs> hole number seven. Because of number seven. Any favorite memories out here besides that hole in one? Uh... Well, there was the time they tried to kick me off the course and told me I wasn't a member when I was a member, but that may not be my favorite. The, my favorite was on uh, number 13 when I hit a, he got an eagle out uh, 120 yards out. That wow. was um, about 30 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do you like best about being a member here? Great people, 
great staff, um, and the course is always in wonderful uh, condition. It's just a nice, quiet place to go spend a whole lot of time. It also helps that I can walk over. That does help, yeah. Old Man Gloom, yes or no? Should we keep him? Um, the burial place for Old Man Gloom. Yeah, I think I like that. Yeah. Definitely yes. All right. Thank you. Your dad's been a member forever, right? Forever, yes. Marsha Funnel. And yes, I am not a current member, but dad has been a member since they started taking locals as members and started caddying here back in 33. Yeah. Is that what he said? Okay. Yep. Okay. And when, what's your favorite hole out here? I'm My guessing. favorite hole is number 11, yes, <laughs> because I got a hole in one back in 03 on number 11 with my uh, seven iron. Yeah. So, yes, so that is my favorite hole. Yeah. All right, I'm with uh, Rex Funnel out on the number 17 T box. And uh, Rex, I wanted to uh, talk to you about maybe uh, back when you were um, a younger player, how many hole-in-ones did you get on this course? I've had seven on this course. Seven? The one down in Texas. Okay, and what holes have you had the hole-in-ones on? Uh, I've had two on Number three, one on number seven, two on number 15, and one on number 17. Would that be it? I, yeah, I wasn't keeping, I wasn't oh. keeping uh, track, but I, I trust you on that. <laughs> Tell me about the one on 17. When did you get that? That's a par four, so that's yeah, really a, a, a double eagle. Yeah, that's a par four. And uh, we were, uh, who I was playing with, I don't know, but the guys that, well, when we hit before they got off, the one guy hollered back, that one went in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's, that was mine. Yeah? Yeah. That's a, that's so, a, <laughs> yeah, we had, same way with, the, when I was on number 11 one day. Uh, Nobody saw that go in. Uh, yeah. Marsha did too, but she hit one on 11. But uh, I, 15, I hit two in a hole, I think. And then one day, Max Spees and I were playing. We got up there and we had two balls like this, and the hole was right here. We had two balls laying like oh, this. Oh, right on the edge of the cup? And neither one of them touched it. But they, neither one touched, and neither one of them went in the hole. <laughs> I hope you got birdies each. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you hit the wrong ball. <laughs> yeah. What What's your um, your most favorable or, or best memory of a round here at White Lake? What was your favorite round ever here? Do you have one in particular? Uh, only the one I had 67 on. 67? Yeah. What? When was that? Oh, you know, tell me when. <laughs> I don't know when. That was yeah. years ago. I, when we we had a, we always had a group that played. I had a 67 once. King had 64 one day when I was playing with him. But uh, I had 67. That's the best score I had here. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I understand that you won the uh, men's championship here on the course one year. I did. I beat Bob. Bob, your son. Yep. And I bet he took that easily, well, right? Well, he had he had, <laughs> he had actually had, he ended up winning it seven times, but I broke in the middle of him, and he won about three more after that, and he, and he moved out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Town wasn't big enough for the two. No. <laughs> Do you have a favorite hole out, out in the course here? Well, if it would be, it probably would be number four. No. I like that. I like that hole. It's not so, not so good to me, but it's just a, it's a nice, it's a, actually a hard par four hole, unless somebody can hit them far enough to get by the all the trees, you know. Right. But otherwise you're back there either behind a tree on the right or trees on the left. And But uh, it's a nice hole, number four is. When you first started playing here, did they have all 18 holes? The first year I started is the first year they had 18 holes. Okay. They, that was, yeah. And I, I started caddying then. 
All right. When I first started caddying, they had the 18 holes. Yep. And so they were just brand new at that point. Brand new. Point. Okay. Yeah, you, know, I, you gave you a club's length to pee, tee up on. Anywhere on the, anywhere, the tee box? Any, anywhere on the, on, 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 the, on the grass out there because it was grass here, no grass there, and like on number, number two where he cut down quite a few trees and just pulled out the stumps and filled it in. They didn't hardly fill them over, so you didn't have a good place to tee up, so they allowed you a uh, club's length to tee up. Oh, you mean on the... On the fairway. In, in the fairway, too. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Any, any place on the fairway. And do you have a favorite memory out here of some event or...? Actually, probably just my hole-in-one, because Dad was with me. Yeah. So that was pretty special, because even back in 03, 11 years ago, so he was still up there in years and um, still playing regularly. So, yeah, yeah so that was, that was a fun time. And when I first moved back here from being gone forever, um, he and I played almost every afternoon. So those will be good memories. Right. Yeah. What, you, your name? How long have you been a member here? 40 years. 40? 40 years. Okay. How about you? Uh, f I've been playing here 50. I haven't been a member that long, you know, between okay. my parents and missing, you know, living out of state, but yeah. Okay. What's your favorite hole out here? Ah, uh, that's a tough one. If you had to play just one hole here over and over and over, what would it be? Ah, uh, none of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you like best about being a member at White Lake? Uh, usually the crowds. It's not usually crowded, but boy, it was crowded today. I'm Emily, and our family's been a member for two years now. Right? Okay. Three years. Three years. Two years. Okay. I'm Riley. I'm just going with them. Is this first time on the course? Uh, like third. Third time. Okay, good. It could be a good interview. <laughs> I'm John. I've been playing here since I was a teenager, so 35 years probably. Excellent. What's your favorite hole out here, then? I don't know. Oh, no, man. don't have one? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Do you have one? I don't know that I have a favorite hole, but yeah. I tend to like the back nine because it's shorter. <laughs> okay. Good points. All right. Yeah. What do you like best about being a member here? I love being able to play when I want to and walk and carry. It's a good walkable course. Yeah. Yeah, I like being able to play because we come up here to visit families. So it's nice to go yeah. just while we're up here for the weekend. Being relatively new, you know, third time on the course, mm -hmm. what do you think of the course? I like it. Yeah. But I'm not very good. So. Not, <laughs> still learning. Okay. I do have a favorite hole. My favorite hole would be number 11 because it's the only hole in one I've ever had in my life. And fortunately, I had it on a Tuesday night when there were only about seven guys here, so it wasn't too expensive. And and you got a skin out of it. I Hopefully. You didn't I pay did. for the beer, though. Did you get a two for one that day? <laughs> <laughs> the slogan, burial place of old man gloom. Keep it or lose it. Doesn't mean anything to me. I've been here since I was a kid, and I still don't know no. what it means. No so. one knows what it means. Right. <laughs> yeah. I guess you know. Doesn't mean anything. I would get rid of it. Get rid of it. Okay. Yeah. Keep it. Keep it. Yep. Lose them. Right. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
a duck pond hole. The duck pond. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Number 12, you mean? Yeah. But there's a lot of duck ponds out there. Yeah, well, we affectionately call it the pickle barrel hole because oh. we would run across the street and pick up a 40 ounce or for the rest of the <laughs> back nine. That's a good point. This is Robin and Steve Novak here. I've been a member since uh, probably 1965 or so when my parents started bringing me up. So very glad to say I'm still a member here. And uh, my we rejoined about four years ago. Yep, had a so few years in between, years. but we uh, rejoined and it's been wonderful ever since. Knowing people like Rob and and. Uh, Dave Everybody and, Roy. and Dave and Roy, yeah, we got yeah. we got Roy's Roy as a new we got member. Him to join this year. Okay. Dave Tordock here has been Dave? A member. How, how long? long have you been a member? Dave Tordock, I've been a member since 2000, but I've been coming up here since I was knee high. Yep. Or less. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hard, hard to believe when he's that tall. Yep. What's yep. your favorite hole out here? Oh. Did you just get it like a birdie on 14? <laughs> no, I got a par. Oh, I did get a birdie. No, I got a par on 14 finally. Okay. I did get a birdie on 12 one time. So, what's your favorite hole? Um, I think uh, actually the uh, what I call the duck pond hole, number number, number 12. 12 there. Yep, just okay. He just, birdied that twice in a row. Yeah. Well, I got a little I got a little fade slice on my shot, so I kind of like number 4. Okay. <laughs> Roy? Or number five. Sorry, number five. Yeah. I meant Come on number over five. Here, Roy. I like what do you like best about being a member then at Way Lake? Well, the uh, accessibility. I mean, it's a beautiful condition, but um, you know, you can always get on. You don't have to wait for leagues or anything like that. So that's okay. uh, truly a gift. It's a it's a gem. I'll tell you. Yeah. I really enjoyed those five years that I worked here and cut grass. Um, it, it, it was just, it was wonderful. All these golfers and, and you, you know, it kept you in good shape. Back then we didn't have weed whackers. I was, uh, you know, I just pushed lawnmower. I didn't get to ride on the, on the, on the lawnmower as much, you know, but uh, yeah. So working here was great. That was a great memory. Yeah. Tell us about the car. What, what, what you've a, a car as long as I Yeah. Can. I had a 1929 Model A that I bought back in 1965 and I got in a bad wreck down here in front of uh, Lloyd Colby's home, totaled it out and then I bought this in 1990, that same year of the wreck and uh, this is a 1930 Model A Ford. Yeah. And you always bring it to the golf course? I always bring it to the golf course, yeah. yeah. Old Man Gloom, keep them or lose them? Keep them. Mm. Lose them. Keep them. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Oh, I don't know. It's tradition. A lot of people want to lose them, but um, I'm on the fence for that one. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, okay, thank you guys.